Um, I met Michael when he was barely 20, 21 years old. I think he had just turned 21. And I was driving in from a tour in my 15 passenger van um, 23, nearly 24 years ago. And um, I'd heard him on the radio. And uh, in fact, uh, Mike, I think you cut that album. And I said, who is this guy? It was a slow blues tune, 103.5, The Fox, at like 9 o'clock at night. I was headed to my mother's house, who was now living in Colorado Springs. A week later, I got a call from the uh, morning show radio DJs, Rick Lewis and uh, Lewis and Floorwax, Mike, Mike Floorwax and Rick Lewis and Kathy Lee. And um, they invited me to do a show, and they had an 11-piece band, and I joined in. There's four guitar players. Michael was one of them. And we've been best friends ever since. And I'm so glad to, uh, to be here. And uh, I love Texas, but I'm sure I'm glad to be in Denver with uh, such fine musicians as Michael. Dave Fox is on percussions on this one as well. And um, I met Dave uh, through Alley Studios. And you guys work together. I used to live in the ISO booth when I, when I was not on the road and, and um, in the vocal ISO booth. <laughs> And uh, back in the old days, and uh, took Dave on tour with us all over the, the country. And, and, and then we finally talked Michael into touring with us as well. And um, we used a lot of, uh, you know, Dave introduced me to a lot of local musicians and over the years, over the last 20 some odd years. And, and um, one of the finest drummers, you know, he ran the Percussion Institute here in town after he graduated. And, and um, um, Alley Studios, Alley Records. Um, you know, great guy, fantastic musician, excellent engineer, excellent producer, and, um, and, and hilarious. He's a good guy to have in your court, and um, hope you all enjoy him. I can't even 
Love, forgive me. 